Opening day is here in the San Francisco Giants franchise. Here in Seattle, Washington at T-Mobile Park is the San Francisco Giants visiting the Seattle Mariners in opening day to start off the 2021 season. As we get into the game, we will see the opening day stats for the pitching by the Seattle Mariners, as will pop up in a minute. I don't know why it only shows the Mariners here, but today it is the two aces starting off today. As for the Mariners, they got Marco Gonzalez on the mound, and for the new San Francisco Giants, they will have Kevin Gosman pitching. The 2020 stats here for Marco Gonzalez this year's ace for the Mariners. 7-2 started at a 3.1 ERA. It's 70 pitches almost. And he was literally a th one out away from 70 pitches. At a 0.95 whip. And now we'll start off as Alec Dicker Alex Dickerson is starting off the year for the San Francisco Giants. Giants are running with their lefty. First pitch, curveball outside. So I was saying the Giants are running their lineup that they will run against lefties while they're in the AL. And the leadoff after that so far is Alex Dickerson. As the second pitch is also taken as Marco Gonzalez gets warmed up a bit. 2-0 count to Dickerson. Pitch underway. And Dickerson swings, gets jammed, and flies out to Kellenick for the out, first out of the year. San Francisco Giants lineup is here as Alex Dickerson, Austin Slater batting second, Donovan Solano third, Mike Yastrzemski fourth, Evan Longoria fifth, Wilmer Flores sixth, Buster Posey seventh, Mauricio Dubon eighth, and Brandon Belt ninth. As now we have the DH Austin Slater up for his first at bat of the day. And the first pitch to Austin Slater is swung at. A little late, but it is foul. Slater will be playing DH against lefties at least. He might also be starting against lefties in the NL, but today he's playing DH. As the second pitch to him is taken for a ball. And the sixth pitch of the day, Slater on her way, and it's another ball taken. So, Marco Gonzalez still getting a little warmed up here on opening day. It's now 2 1, and Dickerson hits it up the middle. A diving stop by JP Crawford, but cannot get it over the first on time. And it will be count as a hit for Austin Slater and the first hit of the Giants' season as Austin Slater gets on to get a lead runner on with one down. For Donovan Solano. So now Donovan Solano coming up. First pitch to him. Swung on and belted to the left center field. And Kyle Lewis, I almost forgot his last name, gets the out. Make it to second out. And we'll bring up Mikey Yastrzemski, the breakout giant the last couple years. Had a decent year last year, but now expects to have an even better year. First pitch, he swings at and is belted foul to the right. And tenth pitch of the inning coming up for Marco Gonzalez. And it's taken to make the count one and one. Marco does not throw hard as he's past this pitch. It'll be about 90 miles per hour, I believe. And ground ball to Mike Evan White. And that's out number three in the in bottom. <laughs> wow. Going to the bottom of the first. Jared Kellenick, the rookie, gets first at bat. For the Mariners, this first pitch is called strike with Kevin Gosman on the mound for the Giants. The new ace ever since Baumgartner left. And I guess he's just now the ace. I don't know if he was last year. Kellenick swinging at a high slider. 0-2 uh, count to the rookie. Pitch in the dirt is grounded to the left. Longoria on his run. Gets the decently speeded Kellenick for out number one. 
Lineup for the Mariners is Kalanick, J.P. Crawford, Kyle Lewis, Kyle Seeger, Mitch Haniger, Ty France, Dylan Moore, Evan White, and Tom Murphy. You can see the stats at the bottom. They were 12th in the AL in batting average last year. And now J.P. Crawford, the lefty shortstop. Swings first pitch is a fly ball to left field. Alec Dickerson gets under it. And that will be out number two for the Giants defense. Now rookie of the year, Kyle Lewis coming up to the plate. 262 average last year with an 11 home run season. Looks to improve from the last season, which was cut short due to pandemic going on. First pitch is taken as a strike. Gosman sets and throws, and it's a ground ball to Longoria. And Longoria throws it over the first, and that's a quick three-out inning. And now we will continue on through this game. In the second inning now, Mark William Flores with one down in an 0-0 count. First pitch is belted to left field, and there is no doubt about that one. The first run of the day goes for William Flores, gets his first home run of the year, going 392 feet to left field off Marco Gonzalez, as the Giants will take a 1-0 lead on the Mariners. I believe that would be the second hit of the game so far as he meets with Buster Posey right off. And a hanging cutter. I wouldn't say too hanging, but a cutter just stays in the strike zone and William Flores drills it to left field. And now with two down, my favorite player on this team to be watching this year, Mauricio Dubon, as we have the probably one of the youngest center field positions I would say as he's our one of our older center fielders at 26 years old and he's our starter right now and we want him to improve as much as he can he gets into a 1-1 count here will be hopefully he's one of the guys that could eventually be more of a leadoff bat not a guy batting eighth because I mean he's not a bad bat as he swings and rips one to the left but cannot get on it enough Lines out to count and end the out. Inning is over, but William Flores gets the no doubt shot. And to give the Giants the one nothing lead. Very long. I forgot to cut a lot of this out. If you go to pitching now, Mitch Hanniger in a one one count with one down. And he drills one to right, and it gets a blue pit. And that is the first hit allowed today for the Giants. Five batters in. And now Ty France, who had a very good hitting season last year during that shortened season, comes on with a runner on and one down. Takes the first pitch. Gosman now looking at Posey to see what to throw next. And he gets a fastball jamming. Ty France, Solano sitting under the pitch, and I'll be out in number two of the inning. Now seventh hitter is Dylan Moore, who they trying to get some more damage done, or get any damage done to kind of tie this game or even take the lead here. It starts off 1-0. Pitch from Gosman, it's a ground ball, Longoria will field it, and he's got another running stop in the corner there. He retires yet another side. Good pitching. Cutting right to the third. Now we got Kevin Gosling against Evan White. After a quiet inning for the bats. Evan White drills on the left center field. Mauricio Dubon getting under it. And he gets to the ball right before the warning track. And that's what I like to see between our center fielder right now. Dubon. We got Duggar. I we need a good fielder out there that could cover a lot of ground and well as you'll see here in a minute covers 105 feet on this play and if you can do that you definitely have a chance to stay on this team now we go over to Tom Murphy his first pitch it's taken for a ball Husman, uh, second pitch is a strike. Only 25 pitches through three innings so far. 
Gosman's going to try to work as long as he could in this game. It's another fly ball to center. And there's Mauricio Dubon again. Not a lot less room to cover this time, but he covers it well. That's what I want from the center field. That's what I want in all of our defense, really. And now we go to Jared Kelenic. It's the second time around in the order. And a questionable sh ball. I mean, that could have been a strike. It could be either way. And then gets another questionable ball or strike call. That one a little more of a better call. And out wide. So down 3-0 early to the rookie. J.P. Crawford up next. Gosman gets some strike now. Cuts it down to 3-1. Next pitch. Gets a 3-2. So he's worked the count full now. 3-2, two, 2 down. With the rookie up. Gosman's pitch is grounded. Donovan Solano gets a good read on it. Throws it over to Brandon Bell. And that will end the third inning. Mariners are down in order and only have one hit to this day. And we're back to pitching again. Two on, one on, two down. 0 oh, 2 count to Hanniger. He takes a ball. Kevin Gosman looks pretty well. He has allowed a few base runners as he throws another slider. And Hanniger goes chasing on the strikeout. Kevin Gosman, a good start to this game for the ace. Worked four very strong innings, only allowing a hit and a walk, I believe. And Hanniger swinging up. William Flores is up again in the fifth. And he will get a bloop hit to right field. And gets his second hit of the day. Obviously with the home run. I mean. If you want to be our best hitter and play every day at shortstop. You got to be getting some hits. And playing good in the field. And so far William Flores has been perfectly fine. Now we got Buster Posey on. With one on. Nobody out. First pitch to Posey. He's taken for a strike. Buster Posey is supposedly the best player on the San Francisco Giants, maybe behind the Mike Yastrzemski bat. And really, batting him seventh probably isn't the smartest idea, but, you know, that's what we got to deal with as he swings at it. One, two count. Buster Posey looking to be the catcher he once was and bring this team to the, fi the final. Wow. The World Series of this one's driven to left. Kellen, it gets an easy read under it. And he will throw it in. One down now. And we'll go back to the top of the order. Eventually, as we wait. Oh, no, we won't. I forgot what part of the order we're on. Mauricio Dubon gets his second at bat. Let's see what this man can do here. First pitch. Cutter inside. Just missed it. Dubon hopefully can get his bat good. I don't feel like it will have a problem with him in the field. As long as he can get that bat to be, like I said earlier, that leadoff bat. As he flies out to right here. Hanneker is under it. And he throws it in for our number two. But as long as Dubon gets his bat good, we might not have a problem in center field at all. Now Brandon Belt coming up. Two on. Or one on, two out. In the fifth. He is batting ninth due to the fact that we are having a lefty on the mound. And he is way better against righties. He checks his swing and takes a ball one. Marco Gonzalez trying to work out of the inning. His 50th pitch of the inning or of the game is belted to right center field. Hanniger going under it and he will get it. So no damage done that inning. But good contact made so far. Back up to the bats in the next inning. Alec Dickerson, first pitch here. 51st pitch of the day from Marco Gonzalez. And this one is belted to right. Dick Dickerson trying to wave it fair, and that ball is gone. The second no-doubt homer of the day for the Giants as Alec Dickerson goes 385 to right. Hit shorter, but hit a lot harder. Or not a lot, but a little bit harder than William Flores. And that is Alex Dickerson's first home run as he's one of the bigger power bats of this team. Even though he's leading off. And he just gets a hold of the sinker. And he waves that ball fair. And makes sure it is staying fair. And it will give a Giants a 2 to nothing lead in this game early on. Or 
in the middle stages as we are in the sixth inning. Now killing over after the inning stalled out, Kevin Gosman pitching now in the sixth inning. His first pitch is a ground out of William Flores. Over to first, Tom Murphy is retired. And that's a one pitch, one out, and that is a good start for this defense. Now Jared Kelnick up. Gosman pitch is grounded over William Flores again. And he'll throw it over to first, and then two pitches, two outs. So now Gosman's going to try to look for a three-pitch inning and get the bats right up again and to get this game over with. J.P. Crawford up. The pitch is fouled off. Almost had a three-pitch inning. As the Mariners have come out in this inning swing happy. Second pitch to J.P. Crawford is swung on and missed. Or fouled off, I should say. Already down 0-2. Kevin Gosman deals, and JP goes swinging at a slider way inside. Kevin Gosman having a phenomenal opening day for our A's. On the pitch for the Mariners in the seventh was Matt McGill, and has had 11 games last year, blew both his save opportunities, and had an 0-1 record. Wasn't the greatest pitcher last year, but a new year, a better year. Now Evan Longoria. First pitch too long ago. He's taken out wide for a ball. In the pen you see JT Chargois getting ready, warmed up just in case. Matt McGill doesn't have the best outing. Second pitch. He's taken for another ball, so that curveball. As a slider, fastball, and a curveball combination. Now the third pitch, 2-0 count. Longo swings and just misses it on the inside, flying out to Kyle Lewis. Good start from Matt McGill out of the pen as he looks to be someone that the Mariners can rely on. And now out comes William Flores, who in the second inning, of course, had that home run that gave one of the two runs to the Giants of this game. And one of the two only runs of this game as the Mariners have not scored any either. Now Flores working on a two to, for two day, looking to get better on a three for three day. First pitch is taken for a ball in the dirt. William Flores is way but usually better against lefties as he does not play against righties. The second pitch of the day, he rips one the right center field and this one gets down for extra bases. Rounding first, Flores goes to second. Hanniger throws it in and it's a bad throw in. And William Flores aggressively runs the third. Great play by Seeger to get it over there. I believe that was Seeger. I can't really see. But he is gunned down at third trying to advance it. I mean, if he got that triple, it would only be a double away. But, I mean, I don't think we should be going for the cycle in the first game of the year. And now Buster Posey up now. Two down of the and then Could have had a runner on. And Posey rips one the center first pitch, and it's a base hit for him, his first hit of the year. And with all that speed on first base, a solid eight speed, I don't know if we can score unless we hit a homer now. Look at that perfect sound of the bat, Posey. And now Mauricio Dubon's up on an 0-2 day. And another runner on with two outs for Mauricio Dubon. Checks his first string, but swing. Wow. And that's a strike. Dubon's also better against the lefties as he takes ball two. As a lot of these righties are usually better against lefties. But, I mean, William Flores did get a double and gunned down at third against the righty. Now McGill gets Dubon swinging at a high fastball. And Hanager gets under it. 2 nothing going into the bottom of the 7th still as we got the heart of the order for the Mariners up. Kyle Lewis in a 1-0 count gets a base knock so that is another runner on. As the tying run will now come up to the plate. Kevin Gosman stats 6 innings, 2 hits, 1 walk, 4 Ks on 67 pitches. And now he's a 0-2 count to Kyle Seager. And Seager swinging at a slider. 
Solano just throws it over the first, doesn't risk the double play turn that may or may not happen. Which, he might have been able to get the double play, but he doesn't go for it. He just plays it cautious. And now Hanager is up. One for two, who was struck out in the last at-bat, but did have the first hit of the day for the, the Mariners. Takes strike one on the inside. Kyle Lewis gets his lead at second. The pitch, it swung on and fouled. And it's quick 0-2 for Mitch Hanniger. And Gosman looks to put him away. The pitch checked and apparently swung on. Hanniger doesn't like the call. It didn't look like he really went. I didn't replay it in the moment. But, I mean, it's listed as Kevin Gosman's fifth strikeout of the day. And I'll tie France on. Two out now and a runner, Kyle Lewis at second. Base knock potentially ties the game. And the pitch from Kevin Gosman gets the, to an early 0-2 count. And France hits it into right field. Kyle Lewis rounding, going home. Mike Yastrzemski guns him down. A perfect throw to Posey. And Mike Yastrzemski keeps the shutout going with an amazing throw from right. Getting Kyle Lewis, who has decent speed. And a great tag by Posey and MLB. It doesn't look like he tags him, but he definitely tagged him. JT Chargois. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. He's on for his first MLB appearance, I believe, in his career, even at 30 years old. The 6'3", 200-pound right-hander. And he's got to face Brandon Bell and then the top of the order of the Giants. First pitch to Belt. It's taken for a ball inside. Belt is better against righties, obviously, as this is the first righty he's played today. As he played Marco Gonzalez twice. And didn't play McGill since he's now up against JT Chargoy's in an early 2-0 count gets uh, looked like a fool there swinging at that curveball in 2-1 pitch in the dirt 3-1 Alex Dickerson of course the big lefty bat up next and Brandon Bell hits one in the left field. Jared Kellnick goes to the warning track, and it is caught out number one. Giants looking to get some insurance runs today. Here's the starter comparison. Gosman, who's still pitching, seven innings pitched, three hits allowed, one walk, five strikeouts. Marco, six innings, allowed two runs. Both pitchers have been doing really good, but of course, Marco allowed the two homers, which is the only difference in this game is the home runs. And now Alec Dickerson up, one down, trying to get another insurance run for the Giants. First pitch swinging at a curveball just on top of it and gets fouled. Now in the 0-1, JT on the pitch. And he will just miss outside, it would be ball one. Challenge pitch possibly coming here. And it's another curveball down low and Dickerson this time misses it. And now in the 1-2 count, JT pitches and gets, I believe that was a curveball again, getting Alec Dickerson to swing and strike out. And now a two down, Austin Slater coming up, playing DH, might end up being an outfielder, who knows. Trying to get at least a base runner on for the Giants. If the first pitch is taken out wide for a ball. 11th pitch for JT of the game. It's thrown and it's a popped up to right field. Hanniger under it. And he will catch it. And now we will go to the bottom of the 8th and 2 nothing. Bottom of the order is now up. Dylan Moore against Kevin Gosman. Gosman pitching seven strong, working his eighth inning right now. He's running low on energy, so I wonder how long he stays in this game as he gets into an early 1-1 count to Dylan Moore. Pitch three of the at-bat. Swung on and missed. So two strikes now. Gosman looking for another strikeout. It does not get Dylan Moore chasing at the slider. 2-2 two, two now. 
This time, Dylan Moore swings at the slider and strikes out. Gosman's sixth strikeout of the day. Pitched a seven and a third so far, and he looks to continue his dominance. Evan White now up. First pitch, he fouls backwards. 84th pitch of the day for Kevin Gosman. Thrown, and it was taken for a ball. The 1 1 now. Swung on and fouled off with the slider in the dirt. 85 pitches, and 61 of them have been strikes for Gosman. The 1 2 count is taken for a ball. And now, 2 2. Challenges Evan White with a fastball high. But Evan White fouls it off. Early swing. So 2-2 two, two again is taken. And is now 3-2. and two. Tom Murphy up on deck. Osman challenges Evan White again. So gets his 7th strikeout of the game. Getting El Evan White on a perfectly pitched fastball. And now with two down, Tom Murphy's up. And first pitch, he swings. He hits it right back up to the middle for a base hit. And Gosman has to go one more batter if he wants to work out of the eighth inning. As that was a good hit for Tom Murphy. See the manager tip at the top right. The pitcher is out of energy. His first pitch is a ball to Jared Kelnick. The rookie looking to tie the game with one swing in the bat. Early, already in the count 2-0. He's been getting in the count early today. Kalanick has. But he takes his first strike. I don't know if they called that a strike or swung. The 1-2. Two, or 2-1, two, sorry. It's taken inside. Now 3-1. and one. Kalanick watches another strike come in. So another full count for Kalanick. Murphy on the move. Kalanick misses the slider low and in. Another strikeout. 7 Ks or 8 Ks. For Gosman in his first start. And after about a no. Really good hit. Closer this year. Tyler Rogers. 29 appearances last year. Had 10 holds. But this year he's closing out games. Wow. First pitch. J.P. Crawford is popped up. William Flores is under it. And we have one pitch. One out. And Rogers looks to close this game out for the Giants to give them the early win. Kevin Gosman's stats, 8 innings, 4 hits allowed, 1 walk, 8 strikeouts on 96 pitches. That is a perfect, almost perfect, opening day from your ace pitcher. That That's something you really want. Especially if he's your ace and he's going to be your ace for almost the whole year, if not the whole year. Kyle Lewis down 0-1 early in the count. And a slow curveball from Tyler Rogers, who, I mean, going from Gosman, who threw 96 tops, to Tyler Rogers, who throws 85 tops, is definitely an adjustment you have to make. But early, 1 2, curveball getting Kyle Lewis thrown out at the plate, has a strikeout. Man, this man's gotten out every way possible. And now Kyle Seeger will be up the last at, last chance. For the Mariners. First pitch. Is low but is taken for a ball. Seager is coming into this at bat. 1-1 one to one against Tyler Rogers And is up 2-0 oh in the count. And takes strike 1. Now 2-1. and one. Seager is definitely an at bat. Or a batter you want. To start a rally now 2-2. Two, two, and Rogers looking for one strike. To end this game. The pitch. Taking strike three with a perfect fastball placement. And this game is over. San Francisco. 2 nothing shutout victory. Great pitching for Gosman and Tyler Rogers. Hitting William Flores and Alec Dickerson are the only two that got the runs. But seven hits on the day for them. Kevin Gosman with the win. Marco Gonzalez gets the loss. Rogers gets the save. And some highlights that you see here, obviously, the William Flores home run. The swing on the ball. Another highlight is Mikey Scrimshi throwing out Kyle Lewis. You will actually see a double play that I don't know if it was shown in the video. But a double play the Mariners turned. I think I just cut out the whole inning because nothing really happened. 
And then Tyler Rogers pitching. Kevin Gosman obviously wins player of the game, although William Flores was a close second with a 3-for-3 three three outing with triple away from the cycle. Granted, he was thrown out at third trying to get a triple. Gosman, though, 8 innings, 8 Ks, no earned runs allowed with 4 hits allowed. You'll see I go to the box store here in a minute. You can check out everyone that's had a hit. You can see Dickerson, Slater got one, Solano got one, Stremski didn't, Ongo didn't, Flores had three, Posey had one, Dubon and Belt did not. See the only extra base hits were Flores' double, Flores' homer, and Alec Dickerson's home run. Longoria, as you can see, grounded into two double plays. The whole, no holds, a win for Gosman and a save for Rodgers. And you can see the Mariners stats here. The pitching did pretty well for both teams. However, just two home runs separated this game. And that's what caused the Mariners to lose. As they now drop to 0-1 and we take the one nothing lead in the series. And now we go to look at the standings. You can see the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks and us are all starting off 1-0. One 1-0. One Padres and Rockies going 0-1 in the National League West. In the American League East, Yankees and Orioles are 1-0. Blue Jays, Rays, and Red Sox drop 0-1. Indians, Royals, both 1-0. Twins, Tigers, and White Sox 0-1. Athletics, Rangers, Rangers, Mariners. Yeah, you can see all those stats. I went way too fast, but this video is coming to an end. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the bad commentary. I <laughs> haven't really commentated anything in a while, and I'm not used to doing this. So I will get used to it. Next episode is coming soon, and I'll take you all later.